<laughs> uh, Bloodstained steel sword? What is a blood... Okay. I mean, surely that's a sword with blood all over it. And yet... I've never seen one called that, so now I have to have it. Tower key? Red Eagle's Fury! Nice! Unlock the secret of Red Eagle's tomb. Complete it. Nice. Steel war axe of shards. I have. Don't I have a task to find one of those? I thought I did. I, you know what? I say this. I'm like... I mean, it's a bit twisted, really, isn't it? I, I'm stood there shopping for items whilst my hand is embedded in this man's chest. We found a sword called Red Eagle's Fury, which would seem to be Red Eagle's sword. Maybe we should ready our weapons, just in case. But apparently Inigo shares my unease and has a feeling things are not yet done. I checked the area surrounding and found a few trinkets. I've also found this book called Red Eagle's Right on this pedestal. And it's one of those pedestals that makes me nervous, like you're going to take the book and the entire mountain's going to explode kind of thing. The sword itself does look nice. There it is. Burns the target for five points. Target's on fire. Take extra damage. It's not a massive amount of damage, though. The ghost blade easily defeats it, so... I am curious. It, oh, it looks nice, though. I think this would look really good with the other outfit. I sometimes have a bad memory. Too much school. Oh, I like day. that. Give me if I sometimes repeat myself. I like this. I really do. However, I think dawn is coming. All right. I'm going to take the book. And then we're going to dodge out of the way. Or I'm going to read the book, and then I'm going to dodge out of the way. Yes, um... Red Eagle's right. Having bathed the blade in human blood, present it at Rebel's Cairn, northwest of his redoubt. Together with your sacrifice and in tone, Lord Red Eagle, Ancient One, first and foremost upon, among Reachmen, heed the call of your people. Still we fight for freedom, still our blades are dark with blood. Turn your gaze upon us and grant us your blessing anew. So we have to go to Rebel's Cairn and present it. Why would we do that? We've got the sword. I renew the ancient covenant when at last our lands are free. We shall return your sword of victory in hand. Then arise, O oh Great One, from your honoured tomb. Reclaim thy stolen throne. Rule over us, High Lord of the Reach, forever. Okay. All right. I am in awe. Uh. You are in awe of what? Okay, we, we've got the sword. That's not the sword. We've got the sword, though. We've got the sword, but for some odd reason, I don't think we're finished. We're supposed to go to the Rebel's Cairn. That's what the book says. Common sense is telling me to just go. We've got the sword. But my instinct is actually telling me oh right yeah that we're not done and recently I found well let's say I found my common sense to be lacking what is that 
Is that a tree? I think it's a tree. It's an odd looking one. I found my... Yeah, I think this is the way out. Yeah, I tell you what. Let's not assume... We're in the clear. Found a lot of copies of The Legend of the Red Eagle. Ooh. Do you know one place I didn't check? Checked all over. But didn't check behind the throne. Thrones are like waterfalls, really. You should always check behind them. There could be something there, Owen. Yeah, didn't miss anything. Okay. There's another... There's the tower with the bridge we saw. I think this is just the way out. However, I also think it's in the direction of the Rebel's Cairn. My instincts... Well, my instincts. I guessed that the Rebel's Cairn was where I was supposed to go. I'm not going to pretend that was my... That is me. I'm tired. And I'm thirsty. We don't seem to be meeting any resistance. Or finding any chests. I'm okay with one of those things. And oh, right, yes. This is all going to work out rather nicely if I'm right. I don't actually think there is anyone here. I think we're pretty much. I'm really kind of disappointed with. I mean, there's no real reason for people to have tons of very valuable and useful stuff in a tower like this. And yet I find myself. I mean, that was. I mean, that was okay. I suppose, I suppose I'm being greedy, aren't I? Yes, I am. Okay. Lots of soul gems. All right. And... Yes, it is, in fact, morning. Right, so where was the Rebels' cairn? Dead ahead. So, where did we leave the horses? Did we not leave them right down, down there? I'm not seeing. Oh god, there's a. S this is. Right, this is. This is. The, this is the cairn. There was a sword in this pot. Okay, somebody just ran into the cave. In a go. I am sleep deprived. Oh God, the horses! Just get off the! Oh my God! And Shadow is just casually, just ever so. 
casually chomping on the ground. Oh, now you run away. Now you run away. Oh. Okay. Much weirdness is occurring. Let's let's take. There is a path up there. Should we just have a look up there? Give me a second. Oh, that's not what I wanted to. Oh. See, this is because I'm sleep deprived. Yeah, for some reason, drinking potions does not satiate my thirst. Okay. Oh, shh. Oh, I think that might be a little on the late side. Okay, no, he's not. He's he's just threatening us. But I'm hearing a hag raven. I'm warning you. Back off. Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem. No problem. Okay, so there are still forsworn in this area, but they're not. They're not actively hostile. If we stay away from whatever's up there. Which was my instinct anyway. Yes, it was. Right. Now, we just watched somebody sprint into the cave. And they did not look like a forsworn. In fact, honestly, they looked more like... Okay, I only saw her for a second or so, but it did look like an Argonian maid, okay? Okay. I know I'm sleep deprived. However, to rebels can. I'm wondering if we've got the real sword, you know. Because I did think to myself it was rather easy to get that sword. You know, just on a briar top of a hill. Seems a little underwhelming. Yes, it does. What do you need? I just want you to wait here. Okay. Do not take too long. All right. Pretty sure I heard footsteps. Just not totally sure if, if those footsteps was indigo. A dead adventurer. Okay, that's the person I saw running. It's not Argonian. It is a maid. I don't think it's Argonian. She's wearing headgear, maybe? A helmet? Yeah, she's wearing a helmet. Who the hell are you? It's a vampire. Okay. With... Excuse me. Huh? Okay, never mind. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mercy. No mercy. I'm just... I gave you a chance. Oh, the adventurer. I mean, I gave you a chance. I saw you run in here and thought to myself, I really, really, really am curious what she's up to. And thought to myself, you know, maybe I have met vampires who would have a conversation. Mercy? Activate. Ah. 
I have a feeling this is where I'm supposed to present. Have I got the gauntlets? I'm pretty sure I've had the... You know what? Let's just take them anyway. Nord Mail Heavy. I don't think I've got places for those in the uh, museum. Now, there was... Now, I've got all of the iron stuff. There was rather a lot of mushrooms. So, let's just... Before, before we do anything else, let's make sure we've got all of those. Um, what do they do? Right. It's not stuff I actually need, is it, for the most? Regenerate stamina. I need to start making more powerful regenerate stamina potions. I think that's all of it. Blister wart and imp stool. That's... I did get all of those, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Those actually have restore health, which is what I need at the moment. I need to make those restoration potions. This is quite nice for a cave. There are times you freak me out more than a little. Do you know that? So we've got a door. It's only going to open if I put the sword here. Like I said, common sense says just you've got a nice shiny item for the museum. But my instincts are saying... You know what? Is what I need really through there? Or do I already have it and I should get out of here? Looks like the spell agrees with my instincts, not my common sense. And so far, the spell has not technically let me down. And my instincts seem to be in line with it. In spite of the fact that my common sense isn't. All right. Okay. Can I take the sword back? Oh, I can get it back. Okay. That's... I picked that. I did. Yes. Ah. Uh, I'm definitely getting... A tomb vibe now. Can't think why. You know, there's a very... Okay. Ominous. Yes. How am I doing for... I'm not. I have a sneaking suspicion. Now is the time to perhaps... I mean, I only get resist magic for 60 seconds. Resist this. It's not for very long. That is the big problem. Okay. I was actually wondering. I do have a... I have a... A ring, the one that makes that awful noise. I'm wondering if that would help you keep you undetected when I go invisible, is what I'm thinking. All right. Oh, you know what? Focus. Oh, God, this is terrible. I can't even with the night vision. It's really dark. I 
and lots of things to pick up if we survive whatever is about to happen every ounce of common sense is saying get out of here what are you doing <laughs> They s okay, they're, they're focusing on... The nice! Oh, 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 oh. Am I hearing another skeleton? Yes, I am. Another skeleton! Yeah, oh, Indigo is in trouble! Oh, oh God, Indigo is in trouble! Okay? Are you alright? You looked really not good. Oh. Okay. So is this why my instincts wanted me to come here? Stuff. Let's look at the chat. Whoa. Ebony Mace Wolf Shield. I was about to say, let's check the chest first so we don't accidentally forget it. But then I remember to check for traps. Come here, I need you to carry some. You want to talk? Ebony Mace. Dude, we, we need this one for the collection. Maybe that's what my instincts were telling me. We have the sword, but oh my god, there's something else here. Yes! You want me to lighten your load? Let us go. Okay, let's just see what we have. We've already got one of those, but... Okay, it's... Alright, now, you know what? I've got an ebony mace. That is pretty damned rare. Oh, I'm hungry. Actually, it's rarer than magic items, money... Cyrodelic, mm, no. Okay, so let's just, you know. Oh, the big guy, the big. This was him. What did you have on you, not? Okay. I mean, it's sort of impressive, but I'm probably just going to sell it. This is Red Eagle. This is... Failing. Did I hear? I thought I heard something. You would actually have thought that the sword Red Eagle was wielding as an undead lord would have some historical significance. Maybe I can... Maybe... You know what? Here's the thing, Inigo. Items like this often have historical significance because we've decided they have historical significance. All I need to do is say to Orion, this is the sword that the undead corpse of Red Eagle was wielding against the heroic adventurer that wrested it from him. And suddenly it's, a, it's an item of historical importance. We put it in the... Uh, we put it in the museum. People come to see it. That's how it works. You know what you don't usually hear in these tales, though? You don't hear about what actually happened right after the uh, fabled battles. You don't hear, the hero vanquished the evil Red Eagle, took his sword, and then ran around picking mushrooms. I guess, uh... It probably happens more often than you'd think. And people just decide, you know what? Let's not put that in the uh, finished version, shall we? Let's just keep it uh, 
entertaining. Yeah, picking mushrooms is not entertaining. Did you feel that? I felt like the power of hundreds of people writing or screaming. Exactly! It was very odd. Okay. So we can still take the sword. Okay, well, you know what? We got a sword and we... Okay. You were... Wasn't it called Red Eagle's Fury? Oh. It's changed. Damage 33. That's a lot more damage. It's a different color. Ooh. Oh, I like that. And it works against undead. Undead up to level 30 are set on fire and flee for five seconds. Oh, I've got to say. It, it doesn't look quite as impressive on the hip, though. Although... Oh, I'd, oh no, look at that. I mean... That is... There's something special about that, but at the same time... There's also something kind of, uh... Oh, that reeks of style. Probably reeks of undead as well, or Briarheart. But look at it! I want to ju- Oh, in it go, look at- Look at the pommel! Oh, I want to keep... We can make a replica of it. We have to find out what it takes to improve this. I like that. It looks even better in the light of day. Yes, it does. That is very, very classy. Although, it's a little longer than I'm happy with. I think it's somewhat longer than your saber. Yeah. This this definitely would be an issue crawling in and out of windows, I think. Mind you, so would that in some ways. You want to stick to the short blades for that, I guess. But it looks nice. Yes, it does. And it goes well with this armor. I am really happy with that. I have a feeling I am not going to let that go. Right, we want to get back to Markarth now. And I think the best thing to do is travel to the west side of Bleak Wind Bluff. Get on the road towards, I say road, path to Solyund, and then take another path to the south that I didn't even see. And hopefully that will take us to the main road and we can just gallop on to Markarth and give the good news to the Jarl. So, this is the way we're going. I think that's the sinkhole, which means... Oh, yeah. There is a little passage through the mountains here. Uh. Is someone there? Ah! Who the hell is that? What the? I'm being chased by somebody who looks like they're wearing... See where it I'll find He's wearing full ebony, is that? Oh my god! 
You won't get away. Honestly, mate, I have. Oh, God, really? Missed him. Oh, could you stand still? Oh, shit. Found you. Run! I fought worse than you. All right, where is Indigo? What am I hearing? What am I hearing? You can't hide from me. Okay. Who the hell is this? Yes, I'm looking at that you thinking. Get away. I want it. Where is Inigo? I mean, look Where at that. No, no, no. Yes, she did. Okay. Oh, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. That was not the right one. This one had paralyze on it. You're a fool to fight. Oh my god, he's immune to pat he's immune to paralyze. In a cow, where the f I could do with your bow right about now. I fought worse than you. Oh, probably. What do you mean by worse, bro? Oh! Oh, I've got paralyzed poison! Oh! Yes! Yes! Shit! Yes! Who the hell is Umbra? Ebony armor, boots, gauntlets, helmet. Okay, magic resistant shield. Ooh. Okay. That's it's not the world's greatest sword. It's also not. It's not really me, but. Okay. I am very confused, though. What did I do to. Oh, that sound on me? He hit me with a... M oh, if target dies within 106 seconds, fills a soul gem. Not particularly pleasant. Karen. Where is Inigo? Purple Mountain Fee. Oh, I did not... Did not want a plot. Okay. Journal Karen's. Ain't the Frostfall. Oh, Talver, dear sweet Talver, I can't stop thinking about him since that first moment I laid eyes on him in the marketplace. My heart was lost, but father would never allow me to marry a commoner, much less a poor Dunmer. Minor. Mara, what to do? Eleventh of Sundawns. Another letter from Talver. The third this week. He says he can't live without me. Then he'd rather die than lose me to another. Oh, I feel the same way. I can't abide this any longer. Father is sure to find out eventually, and the maids are all a flutter over my secret love. Something will slip. Talver and I must be long gone by then, or Father will have all the reach up in arms against him. 22nd of First Seed. I've convinced Father to take me on his next trip out east. When we reach the inn at Old Rolden, I'll slip out at night and meet... Talver in the hills above Sol Solyuns. Talver says he's been saving his wages for the last few months, stowing them away in the old stump up there. With that, we should be able to buy passage to Riften and our freedom. Oh, love, I can't wait another hour. Oh, there's a tree stump up here. Oh, you know what? Might as well take that. Tree stump. That's not... Oh! Ooh. 
And got... Uh, Eastern iron, it's not really worth much. That... That does not explain why there was an ebony-clad psychopath here. Okay. You know, when I say that out loud, trying to figure out what an ebony-clad psychopath was doing here, murdering somebody called Karen, is probably a lot less useful than trying to figure out where the hell Inigo is. Could definitely have done with his help against that Jew gentleman. Orc? He sounded orcish. Okay. I just kind of want to look at his face. His name was, um... Just... Oh, you know what? I don't care that much. Alright, fine. I've now got even more ebony. Orion is going to lose it. Yes, he is. He is going... Old Rolden discovered? That's the place in the letter. Journal. Oh, it... It's an inn. And we have a mystical mist again. Le I work for Ildis. She runs the inn. Okay. Ah. Uh? You should head on inside. Ildis or Schooley can take care of you. This is this is the place that was mentioned in. If you drink too much, the journal. Out. No drunks. The place where the Dunma was going to wait. For some odd reason. No. Okay. Hmm. Would have been nice. To... Well, where were you? You missed an epic fight. This ebony warrior just jumped on me. And I was all like, what's this? And he was like, prepare to die. And I was like, I don't think so. And I parried him and just defeated him in single combat. It was awesome. He was called... Umbra, or something. And he had some seriously nice stuff. I also found a journal. From somebody who I think was murdered by the ebony-clad warrior for reasons I have yet to figure out and probably never will. All aboard. Is that Mike? Yes, it is. Those two are not Mike. They look pretty heavily armed. We're going this way. It's been a strange day. Yes, it has. I've managed to find a lot of things for the museum in a very short amount of time. I've also found a miner for the uh, Explorers Guild. And, hopefully, I have now done enough favours for the Jarl that I could buy a house. As to whether or not I'll be granted a title, yet to be seen. But we may be close to getting ourselves a fireproof home. Jarl Igmund, I have excellent news! Uh... Oh, yeah, the leader of Serpent's Bluff Redoubt is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Yes, I've been, to be honest with you, I've been out there killing the Forsworn left, right, and center. You'd be very impressed. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. However, I saved the best till last. I have brought you Hrolfnir's shield. You've honored my father's memory in more ways than I have words to say. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in my city. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Oh, I'm interested. And take this, a gift from the Yara's personal stores. Glacial crystal heavy helmet gained. Thank you very much. I'm not sure what that is. Mayal, is there anything else you need? 
There is room in my court for a new fame. It's an honorary title, mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my home, and who owns at least one piece of property in my city. You help my people and purchase a house for my steward, and I'll make you my thane. A thane? Me? I would never have thought of that, but of course it would be my honor. As you were, then. Ex-purchaser? And I get the feeling I've already been helpful enough. It, you know, of course I have. I've been helping people all over the place. I really have, actually. I can actually. always count on you, Catherine. I've even helped you, didn't I, with the uh, the whole um, stamina potion thing? I'm Igman's uncle, as well as his steward. Yes. Uh, I'd like to purchase a house. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Okay, on se No, I will definitely take it. Wonderful. Here is the key to your Vlindral... Hall! I'd like to decorate... No, I'd like to see it before I decorate it, and... Oh, no. I want to see it without a house... Thank you very much. I, I will be... I will be back soon. I want to There's see it without a house carl in it. Because uh, I want to get an impression of it, you know, without people making the place look messy. Although I suspect the place is probably going to look messy at the start anyway. There is also the minor problem of not really knowing where the hell it is. You know, considering I've been remarkably helpful in Markarth, I actually don't spend a lot of time here. The, the, the alchemist is over there. I think the houses are over on this side, near to the, um, the bank, or at least near to that area. Uh, this would be the bank. Yeah, I don't actually know Markarth well, which is probably a bad sign. Endon's house? Hello? Ogmund's house. Okay, let's try up here. Vlindral Hall! Okay. Do we have a back entrance? Nepos House. No, it doesn't seem so. Okay, we've only got one neighbour, somebody called Nepos. I do hope he's pleasant and uh, preferably quiet. Okay, it's as messy as I was expecting. Somebody's come and lit the uh, fires, which is nice. All right, this is actually quite spacious. A little dark, although that's to be expected, considering it doesn't really have any windows. It's, it's going to be a little stuffy kind of uh, secretive, which is nice. Although, if there's no... Okay, they... Hmm, well, it's... well, it's not a stone bed, but it's... We're going to decorate. We're going to decorate. It's going to look better. To be completely honest, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's a little bigger than I had imagined, and... There is potential. It's never going to be cosy. It's never going to be... Well, I was going to say warm. I mean, it probably is very warm. But is this... Okay, it's got a chimney. Probably got reasonable ventilation. I mean, it's Dwemer constructed after all. But, um... Yeah... Mixed feelings. I mean, it's it's spacious, and there's something a little impressive about it, isn't there? There is. I, I would like to see how this place looks when, um, decorated. And, of course, I'd like to see how it looks when I have the title Thane. Say Helgen got hit by a dragon. The Silverblood family. What about them? They seem loyal enough. Loyal? Thongor supports Ulfric and his Stormcloaks. 
we should imprison the entire family as a precaution. I second that, Igma. Who knows what that family will do for power? They could be working with the Force One, for all we know. Enough. We can't imprison the very people that own the jail we'll be throwing them into. The Silver Blood family are to be left alone. Am I clear? Yes, yes sir. Yes, my God. Um, I, I realize I'm not a Thane yet, but if they didn't own it, would that help? I mean, there are other solutions, you know, if Red, they're how disloyal. How the against this Force One menace? Things are bad, even. Our forces are barely able to keep the Force One in check. Merchants are reporting the loss of more of their shipments. This is why I say we take the fight to them. Gather the Legion and drive those blasted beasts out of the Reach for good. And what do Legion soldiers know about the hills of the Reach? And the caves that make up those hills? The Force One can hide and ambush every assault. The safety of the city and our settlements must be our only concern, Igmund. The rest of the Reach is on its own. Cowards, both of you. My father would not sit idly back and wait while evil men take over his lands. We're done discussing this for now. Yeah, to be honest, they're not that tough. They're really not, honestly. Seriously, you, you could send your men out and wipe them out. It wouldn't, it really wouldn't be that difficult. I'm Igmund's uncle, as well as his... Daughter. I'm looking for work. Actually, I'm not right now. I'm, I'm kind of busy, but I'd like to decorate my home. I'll be glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. I have the and coin. Course, Trust me, I have... Don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Yeah, right. Now, what would you like to I purchase? keep getting told that, and I, n I never do. Um, bedroom furnishings, definitely. Very well. I'll make no, I, I think that's absolutely everything. To read. That's very nice. Jarl Igmund. Good to see you. I have helped your people, as you asked. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of the Reach. Congratulations. I grant you a personal house card to watch over your home, and this weapon for my armory serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rebel now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've heard that before, but to be honest with you, I never tire of hearing it. Thank you very much, my I yarl. I always count on you, can't I? I don't get uh, fed up of hearing that either. Thank you very much. I will be taking my leave of you and getting to know mark off a little better. We have a lot of things to do in this neighborhood. Lots of things for the uh, for the museum and I have some people to see. Oh, and of course, we do have some other tasks. <laughs>